Salutations, Internet. I'm Scores, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, um, stuff happened. Where were we? Oh, you can use the skip button to fast forward through text you already read. Okay. And, uh, so we just read our poem to Yuri, and we read her poem. So I guess we gotta choose people to read. Um, let's do... Um... Let's do Natsuki, I guess. Okay, Natsuki, dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> dot, dot, dot. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. It's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Oh, I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Yes, you do. Not that you'll like it. Okay. Eagles can fly. Okay. Uh, monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can fr try. But that's about it. Huh. I kind of like that. Oh, click off. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I actually kind of like it. I like it. <gasps> what? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make it through your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice, th nice thing about the simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Did I press record? I hope I press record. I just realized that. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It wasn't it wasn't on screen, so I couldn't see it, so I was afraid. Okay, continuing. Uh, like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's cool. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is with, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. Yeah, okay. That sounds nice. I also have been told that it takes about three hours for the scary stuff to start happening. So hopefully this can remain interesting until then. So far, I think the, the writing's pretty good so far, I think. So who should we save for last? Uh, let's save Sairi for last. Let's do Monica next. <clears throat> Hi, Squirrel. Oh, I, for I forgot their voices. I kept getting Monica and Sayuri mixed up, so I don't know what I'm doing for this. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share a poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Squirrel. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm embarrassed every day, so I understand the feeling. But if that's the sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon... Oh, I, think I, I think I read that word. Uh, yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. Oh, it makes me think of something Sayuri would like. Is that so? You and Sayuri are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had, had those sort of things in common. <laughs> oh, well. We may be good friends, but Sayuri and I are actually really different. Hmm, well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get, vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm, you sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sairi's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would be, enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, well to each their own. And you should, shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Hmm. Aha. <laughs> I read that as ha instead of a laugh, but okay. Anyway, did you do you, uh, Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. 
Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't always mean I f uh, That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay, what is this? Oh, hole in a wall. Oh, does this, uh, is this a scrolly thingy? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes? A, no a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas are already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. Does that have implications for something that's going to happen later on? Uh, so, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that has some kind of... I've had some kind of epiphany lately. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it kind of... Uh, I, I read that word. I missed it. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fo fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen on the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Okay, that's true. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right. Oh, Sayuri's last one. Here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, how to do her voice? I forgot. This is so good, Squirrel. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you're such a good writer. Sayuri, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. That's too accurate. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I... Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a squirrel poem. <laughs> and that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Syra hugs the sheet of paper against her chest. You're so weird, Sayuri. <laughs> Uh, I'm really happy that you that did I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's a lot- it's like I said before, Squirrel. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined, knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Okay. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Okay, very simple. It seems I've kind of an inconsistent form, I think. I, didn't, I wasn't really paying attention to it, but I think it did. Uh, Sayuri, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes... Well, uh, uh, I'm a man. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. <laughs> Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or should I put it... Sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. 
Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I... Well, I guess I look forward to it. I keep mixing up those two. <laughs> yeah. I think sorry is the closest to my actual voice, so I keep messing it up. Also, it also starts with an S in S and Squirrel and Sayuri, so. Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, even if they're just being nice. There's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language, huh? Um, did you say something? I, can't, I, I forgot Yuri's voice. I remember I liked her voice. Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns, to the po returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it, and Squirrel did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Ah uh, yes. Anytime somebody compl complains about your art artistic, which I shouldn't say complains, anytime somebody ever critiques your style when it comes to something artistic, just say, that's my style, <laughs> which I haven't yet. I think I skipped the line, sorry. Mm. And Squirrel liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki said at least adds up, oh no. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Squirrel appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... no. I, if I was just... if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um... is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Squirrel started showing up. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noted, uh, noticed I was standing there. Squirrel. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should just should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Squirrel. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the mo and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting, your lim uh, limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Squirrel? Um, well? Okay, so I have to choose one? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Help me, Sari. I mean, if I have to choose between their poems... Not, I don't want to think too deeply in, into it. I like Yuri's poem better, but I did appreciate Natsuki's more simple style. But, mm, okay, I'll just go with Yuri. I'm not going to think about it too much. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem, okay? See? Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. I mean, she was the one who started it, I think. Because, I mean, Yuri's just kind of being Yuri. She's getting into writing and, like, critiquing it because she likes the subject. And Natsuki was being a little mean. And then that... that I, the, the, both of the... the 
I don't know what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. <laughs> the internet would say differently. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even uh, take my poem seriously. Hmm, I understand. Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined somebody's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Oh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you, you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? <clears throat> Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. Aww. She's trapped, at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayuri, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Oh! Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. Uh, I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in a, an adjacent, adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right. I believe you. Thanks, Squirrel. You're too kind. I'm thankful have to have you a part of this club. Have you a part... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um... That one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, huh? What thing did Natsuki say about her? Yeah. Um, well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, everyone. Uh, what's your voice? It's just about time for us to leave. How'd you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Squirrel, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was anything to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can do a, at least do a better job in impressing those I want to impress. Okay, seems reasonable. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Squirrel, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Okay. Nope. Sayuri, about what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I'd ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Squirrel, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayuri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so you're gonna write another poem then? Okay, so we need to figure out what... Y I, I think I'm going for Yuri, I guess. I don't know, I assume you're supposed to pick one. I kind of like Yuri. Okay, something Yuri would like. Yuri likes fantasy- No! Oh, uh... Disaster. Okay, so she seems to like more negative things. Agonizing. So, I'm gonna pick all the negative ones. Nothing really negative here. Um... 
Whisper? No, I'm not Suki like that. Pain? Ah, dang it. Why did she jump for that? I'm wondering if these words are like implications as to what's gonna go on in the future. Negative words, negative words. Forgive, embrace, tenacious. Forgive? Ah, explode? Oh, well she liked explode. I don't know, is Yuri secretly like really just crazy or something? Secretive. Okay, anxiety, she like that. Anger? Nope, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Grief? Ah, uncanny, yes, okay. Um, tragedy, oh, Okay, so she seems to like the sad things. She seems to like the more, she liked melancholy. Right, yeah, okay. Depression, nope. Okay, so maybe she's depressed, I don't know. Am I overthinking it? I might be overthinking it. Atone? Okay, Oof. I don't know how many exactly we got for Yuri. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've got a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Squirrel. Yo, Sayuri, looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in the mood, in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you, anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Oh, wait, no. I, I, okay, I was reading him wrong. <laughs> I'm going to keep mixing up those two. I'm sorry. Me and Sayuri, I mean. No, thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayuri? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh... Sayuri nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Is she broke? Then she turns it upside down and lets its, contact, and lets its contents spill it onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayuri. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. Ba -ba -ba. And so that only leaves the one option. Ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. <laughs> I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Squirrel to let me borrow some money. That's, don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. <laughs> ah, ah, did I just, I did, didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh, <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Sayori. It, I mean, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Uh, still, coming from you, Sayuri. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayuri knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to this club before she even told me. But... You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes, so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me a little more credit than that, Sayuri. <laughs> what? what? Kia! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayuri in the face and fumbles onto the desk. Ow, what was... <laughs> a, a cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayuri glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sari hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sari rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. <laughs> Sari suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sari gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. 
I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sairi off her. Oh, um, <laughs> Sairi suddenly leans over down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Uh, hey, did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sairi trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Uh, jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayuri? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't heard. I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... I wouldn't be so surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the cl Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, squirrel. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love to hear uh, the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I chose to leave out Sairi's a uh, mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Uh, Sairi somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappears into the closet. Okay. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper into the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave to me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll, I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, mm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright, I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who have escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Squirrel? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into these th those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy they want to believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be... You're made out... No, they're made 
turned out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry, that just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... well, that's true. In fact... In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you trying to... what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book I put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start reading the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I, I don't really mean to. Sorry, I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up up against... Wait, I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Ah, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm uh, on the right side of the book. Okay, I think I see what they're doing. The way That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Uh, sorry. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah. That's okay. You're not as used to reading it, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finishes the page before me so I can turn it on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses a lot all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not, like, it's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Uh, I see. You remain silent for a moment. But Squirrel, that's probably... A terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, I didn't mean that in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really don't- I, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant to- I meant that it's kind of cute. Ah, what are you saying all of a sudden? I- Okay, everyone! <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, <laughs> spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not... It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read with you? Um, I, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off, uh, left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Okay. 
Uh, more poem sharing. Okay, this seems like a good spot to end the episode, so I'm gonna end it here. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start making multiple saves just in case. So yeah, as I said at the end of last episode, I think it's just gonna be like, you know, your standard a visual novel fair until it gets to the twist. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go along with it, just try to get into it as much as I can, so that when the twist actually does come, maybe I'll be more invested, you know? So yeah, that's all for now. So anyway, have a lovely day and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye. Thank you.